Time has left the life of the Hungarian peasant almost unchanged. They still live in small villages and work the long, narrow, strip-like fields which surround them, a heritage of medieval days. The houses are built of sun-dried bricks and thatched with reeds. The lofts serve as a storehouse for the produce of the fields. Each village is practically self-sufficient, as the peasants raise or make almost everything they require for their simple wants. Many ancient handicrafts still flourish. Here we see the coopers making the casks in which to keep their wine, working under the sky in the narrow street, and probably singing as they work. The village potter still spins his primitive potter's wheel. Hungary today gives us a picture of the peasant life which was general in Western Europe during the 17th and 18th centuries, but has almost disappeared before the march of progress. Even the goose girl of fairy tale lore still tends her flocks on the poplar trimmed green, and perhaps dreams of the prince who will ride up on a white steed. But the fruit of their labor must be disposed of, and market days are held in the larger villages, a pleasant break in the monotony of the peasants' lives. These curly-haired pigs are a special breed much favored in Hungary, and travel to market on all fours. The geese are more fortunate, or less, according to the way you look at it. But regardless of how the animals feel, market day is a gala event. Countless stalls, where everything the people produce may be sold or exchanged, turn the sleepy village square into a beehive of activity. The simplicity of their life has in no way destroyed the native ability to trade, which is characteristic of people of the soil, whether they hail from New England or the steppes of Russia. Each purchase or exchange is a transaction of great importance, whether it be a simple deal in cabbages or the more complicated purchase of a new dress for festive occasions. The itinerant peddler, of course, haunts these fairs, traveling from one to another. Whether this salesman of feather beds has a proper bedside manner may be a question, but it is obvious he knows how to strike a bargain in the approved Hungarian fashion. 